Remember Nick Merckx? He's a base clan Call of Duty Twitch streamer. And he recently made a shitty take this year that wasn't his brightest moment of that time. He made an ignorant response to a certain tweet online that did show parents or at least a crowd of people standing outside in a Glendale school in California or at least a Glendale school district in California and Nick Nimmerks ignorantly said they should leave the kids alone, the little kids alone, that's a real issue because Nick Merckx doesn't really want the children to learn about that stuff in general so that they aren't being discriminative. And that's just one of the reasons why they should learn about it. Just like they were taught about the racial tensions in schools before and guess what we were one of those kids at the time who were taught about the racial tensions in school like for god's sake sweet we're all talking about martin luther king and how he paved the way to get all of us black and white people to come together but unfortunately from Nick, from Nick Merckx, he doesn't see that way, which is why Call of Duty took the appropriate step and removed his stupid Bondo skin. Because for Nick Merckx to not understand and to be so naive about it, about this issue, which has already been approved at the Glendale California School District this year was nauseating and frustrating for me to hear it which is why I made a video about it and I called him out on it too because all things to make Mercs every Twitch streamer isn't going to have their own bundle skins and I and I totally support it back then and I totally support it now because you know having the Call of Duty bundle skins out there like before or be, yeah like before or during Pride Month isn't such a good idea on Activision's part to have Call of Duty release their skins. They could have just waited until maybe around September to do it. But that's just my opinion on how they should have released the bundle skins then. But the point being is that Nick Merckx should not have been making a discriminatory statement in the first place. And since he already paid the price for it this year, here's another guy who's going to give him something that Nick Merckx will ultimately really pay the price for. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. Oh, wow. So you're the guy who said that you want to teach your own kid these things? Yeah, I doubt that's going to work out for you, buddy. 
clearly you are not worthy, neither is your wife. She's not worthy to teach her kids these things. That's why there's a school curriculum for it. So that non-LGBTQ children can learn to not be discriminatory towards one another. And the fact that you didn't get why it was happening in a Glendale, California school district is why you are the worst parent ever. And you deserve nothing but the worst one you'll get this Christmas. Enjoy your call, Nick Merckx. Do you know why no Twitch streamer has ever gone a deep end and say something that they probably shouldn't have say because of the fact that they actually know nothing about it? Well, if you know absolutely nothing about what's going on in our world, or what's going on in our country, or what's going on in all of our 50 states, or at least one of our 50 states, then clearly you should not make a tweet to stir up the internet. Because what you did this year, you made a tweet that you know nothing about on the situation that you clearly have little to no knowledge of whatsoever. And that's why your skin got banned permanently for good. And everyone else deserved the same fate because they knew what they were getting into when you made that shitty response. And had you not did that this year, everyone would have kept their skins, including yourself. But the fact that you have to be an ignorant person about it is just disingenuous and really barbaric of you. Because all you have to do is think about yourself instead of others. So until you learn about the outcome of what you wrongfully did, you may never get into any of the brand deals ever again. So please, Nick Merckx, do better as a gamer and stay away from responding to the LGBTQ plus topics on the internet. It's best to keep your opinions to yourself. If you have nothing encouraging to say, keep it to yourself. That's it.